Looking for the cheapest and most reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins on the market with fast delivery? Head on over to IGVault.com and use coupon code SPORTS for 6% off your entire order. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Duke back from SportsGamers.com and I'm super excited for today's Madden 21 video because I found the best defense in the entire game of Madden 21. Easily stop the run, the pass, great pressure with great coverage and we're going to be looking at this nickel 3-3-5 odd defensive formation. Just want to give you guys a quick happy holiday wish. Man, I hope you and your family and loved ones have a great holiday season. I know I am. Just want to show the love with this video. So I'm actually going to be running this from the Giants playbook on defense. I really think this is the best playbook on defense right now in the game because they have a little bit of everything you need. You got a 3-4 bear, which has unblockable blitzes. Big nickel over G, which, as y'all know, is one of the most popular formations in the game. This 4-3 even is even pretty good. Uh, you got the 3-3-5 wide, which has great run D coverage. G. It's one of the best formations to manually blitz from. You got the 2-4-5 double A gap, which, as y'all know, has some good blitzes. And this 3-3-5 odd is my personal favorite formation right now in the game. It has unbelievable heat coverage and run D. Very easy to set up. Then it even has the big dime 146, which has, which, excuse me, has one of the best blitzes in the whole game. Super hard to block. So I don't think you can go wrong with this uh, formation on defense. Uh, and this playbook is just amazing. So when I'm running this defense, I actually turn auto flip off because I like to run it flipped. And I always like to keep it flipped. Also, I'm going to go ahead and normally what I do is for my coral flats, I turn my zone adjustments up to 20. Um, that's just what I personally prefer to do when running this defense. Because I'm about to show you one of the best coverage concepts in the whole game in this video. Uh, you can, sub with this formation, sub in safeties at linebacker if necessary. I definitely like having some actual linebackers at the end. Because sometimes they'll be rushing, sometimes they'll go in in coverage. Um, your D tackle, if you can have inside stuff on him, that's great. Because that will really help in the run game. Best edge rusher should be over here. I don't really have the Broncos ideally set up, to be honest with you. But that's fine. The play I'm going to be looking at is going to be, again, we're going to be flipping the formation. It's going to be this, uh, it's going to be the, where is it at here? The linebacker cross three show two, and we're going to be flipping it. So guys, you can use this against any type of offense in the game, and it's super, super effective. I do want to remind you guys, if you're enjoying my content, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and smash that like button, guys. So let's look at a lot of different concepts with this bunch. Now, when I run this, I generally like to use her the safety that's in the hook zone um that's gonna be my user and i do some sometimes i'll base line, sometimes not but i definitely like to go ahead and spread my d-line out and my linebackers now guys this like i said the giants playbook is amazing on defense we actually have just released our defensive game planning guide for madden 21 which covers the giants defensive playbook it's on sportsgamers.com and it's the best guide in all of madden 21 this is our most popular guide every year we've been doing this guide for about a decade now and every year is the most popular one because not only do we show you guys the best blitzes rundies and coverages in the game but also what we do is we show you how to stop the most popular offensive schemes in the game like bunch trips tight end um, not only that we show you how to stop the most popular routes we'll show you how to stop the angle routes people run out of the backfield crossers posts uh the deep bombs we even show you how to stop offensive tactics like low balls and stuff that's really hard to stop so if you want to become a pro on defense and get better on defense, you need to check this guide out. It's a must-buy. It's the best guide every year. We'll drop the link for you in the description and pin it in the comments. So I actually have unblockable heat out of this formation. Very good blitzes that are easy to set up. But this is more of a coverage to mix in with the blitzes. This is a little sample for you guys to, to, to take with you. If you want the full scheme, you're going to have to buy the guide. But what I'm going to end up doing here is, first of all, I do like to shade over the top. Gonna give me my curl fats dropping back at about you know a good 20 yards. Next thing I'm gonna do is I like to crash my line. I like to crash them outside. That's a good pass rush, or I can crash them down. Either way, it's fine. Now I have adjustments I'm gonna make with these three players that are blitzing. I like to go ahead and I like to put this guy right here, Parks. I like to put him in a curl flat. I like to put this edge rusher in a hard flat, and this guy I'm gonna put in either hook zone or a hard flat now when I control this hook zone over the middle of the field this is gonna be my user if I put a hard flat on the screen here notice how I have two curl flats and two hard flats one on each side of the field 
What that means, guys, is that I'm going to have the flat covered if they try to throw it out of the backfield to the running back or maybe a little quick route to the tight end. And also, I'm going to have the deeper sideline area covered for like crossing routes and posts going over the middle field, even deeper corner routes. So what that means is my job is the middle of the field. Now, for the way offense is on this year's game, this is one of the best coverages, bar none, you can play play in the game. It's not even close. This is very. This is a extreme, like an extremely hard coverage to beat. Not a lot of people can beat this. Now, another thing you can do if you want even more coverage is you can bluff blitz this DN right here. That's going to put him in a three wreck hook zone. So now you have even more coverage, and you only are rushing two. On this year's game, believe it or not, rushing two and three players actually gets good pressure. But really, what I want you guys to do is notice how good this coverage is, because there's not going to be anywhere to really go with the ball. You're going to get a lot of coverage sacks when you run this defense. As you guys can see here, all I'm going to do is guard the middle of the field. You guys can see rushing too. And this is why it's key when you run this defense to have a good D-line that can get some pressure. Because a lot of times we will be rushing two or three defenders, even when we're technically blitzing. You still get good pressure. But if you guys look, notice how that this defense covers both flats. Bam. Bam. And then also the deep sidelines for deeper routes like corners, crossers, whatever. And then, of course, we have the three deep, and we're just covering the middle of the field ourselves with our user. We take away the in route. There is nothing here. At this point, you know, all that's left for the, the defense, or I'm sorry, the offense, is, you know, just to get sacked because they have, they, they, they have nowhere to go with the ball at all. It's just going to be a quick sack, and, you know, everything is completely boxed up. There's, there's nothing even remotely open. So the defense is very sound. I want to take a look at a few more examples, though. Let's get into some trips because, as you all know, trips is very popular this year of crossing routes, um, you know, flats. Uh, this PA counter go is one of the most popular plays on the game, honestly, for that type of offense. Spread out the linebackers as well as our DNs or our D-line. Go ahead and put this guy right here. We're going to put him in a hard flat. We're going to put this guy in the curl flat. This guy, we're going to put him back in the hard flat. So we have a purple right here, as you guys can see. Two hard flats. And that's going to allow us to get the whole area of the field covered. Nothing is going to be able to come open here, whether they swing their running back out of the backfield, whatever. Everything's going to be guarded. Now let's throw in a motion slant here. Again, guys, we already know the crossing route. We're taking care of that. Like, we're not worried about that. So all we're going to look to do is guard that middle of the field. Boom, I guard the slant. You guys can see, you know, we got that. Purple dropping back underneath the crossing route. Now, if they happen to have a crossing route that's getting a little too deep for 20 yards, all you have to do is go ahead and put it on 25. If, the, if, if, if 20 is not getting the job done, which 20 for me most of the time does, but there are a few times here and there, if someone has a crossing route that's getting open, I do have to put it on 25. If you notice that one of their crossing routes is still getting behind 20, just put your purples on 25, and it will definitely take care of that. You know, You don't have to worry about it at all at 25. So that is something to keep in mind. Some crossing routes are just a bit deeper than others, guys. So you have to you have to be aware of that. Now, like I said, if someone is is not really playing, you know, hitting you in the flats on one side of the field, say that they're only throwing a flat to the right side, then you don't have to do a double flat concept, a double Mabel. Mabel basically means you have a hard flat and then a, a curl flat dropping back deeper. So if they're only attacking the flat and say the right, what you could do is something like this: have the hard flat curl flat, flat excuse me, on the right. And then on the left, you could just go ahead and you could have, you know, you could have your uh, purple by this guy and then have this guy sitting over the middle field in a hook zone, right? So now you're not responsible for the entire middle of the field yourself. And this just does a good job, like I said, if they're only looking to maybe hit the flat on one side of the field, then you don't have to worry about it so much. So let's take a look here. And again, you're going to see we're going to be able to cover that crossing route and then we can just defend the middle of the field ourselves. So you guys can see. That crossing route is completely locked up. If you take a look at the replay, you'll notice that even if we hadn't got sacked there, that still that crossing route was going to be guarded by the purple zone. So you guys take a look at this replay. You'll see that number 86, he's running this deep cross. So he's going across the field, going across the field. And as you guys can see, we just had this, this purple just sitting right here waiting for him. Um, also notice how the flat is covered by our hard flat. And that's the Mabel concept where we're taking the hard flat to guard the, the, the quick flat. And then the purple, which we, in our zone adjustments, our zone drops on the, the coaching settings, we put the 25 yards, so it's covering that. So now all that leaves me to do is help guard over the middle. And, you know, I could have, you know, rush three 
and have double Mabel on each side, and then I'm the only one in the middle. Or we could do like I do here and only have the Mabel on one side and have a hook zone over the middle with me helping out with that hook zone. Or we could rush two and we could have double Mabel on each side and then we could drop a D lineman and a hook zone over the middle of the field. So you're very flexible of how you do it. Um, let's go back to the example of rushing two. Maybe you want a double Mabel on each side and you want another hook zone so you only want to rush two. Again, you can do that as well. So let's look at um, let's look at bunch tied in here with the PA boot over. Uh, especially if you guys are on next gen, but really any system, especially next gen, that is one of the best plays in the entire game. Again, this is an easy setup. We spread the D line out, spread the linebackers. We're going to shade the coverage over the top. And if you guys don't know how to do that, you just hit coverage audible. Again, if you guys don't know that, it's coverage audible. And then up on the right analog stick to shade over the top. We're going to go ahead and do a do crash line out, which is up on the right analog stick. Put this guy in the hard flat. This guy's going to be going in the curl flat. This guy's going in the hard flat. And then if we want an additional hook zone, we can either bluff blitz him to put him in a three rec, or we can just drop him back in a vert hook just like that. Now it's going to rush two. So, you know, when you rush two, you don't get quite as much pressure as if you rush three. But still, like I said, on this year's game, if you have any sort of, um, you know, pass rush at all or good uh, r rushers, it doesn't, you don't even, it, it's crazy, but you really don't even need to rush but two or three a lot of times and you'll get that quick pressure. And I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, this year's game is just different, man. Like, the sheds are out of hand. And that is, it is important though to have good pass rushes because if you don't and you try to only rush two or three, you're not going to get as much pressure as if you if you do. But anyways, let's take a look at this. We're going to hit two flats, and we're going to also have the streak in the middle and then the deep cross. We already know the deep cross is so, super good as well as you know having two routes hit in the flat, also effective. So I'm going to take away that streak in initially. Then I'm just going to sit over the middle of the field. There's, there's nothing open here, and they're just, uh, going to have to force a throw or take a sack. And as you see, we're able to get a nice little user pick over the middle of the field. That's the problem. That the offense has here is you know even though we didn't get quick pressure this time we've got a quick pressure every other play in this video by the way guys if you haven't noticed but even if you don't get quick pressure see they're blocking the running back and still Von Miller's in his face there's nobody open because look if you see I initially took away the tight end streak so you couldn't throw that I was kind of also baiting that drag by the time the drag goes over the middle there's a hard flat waiting for him same thing over here by the time this drag crosses the middle Got a hook zone and a hard flat waiting for him here. Maybe you could throw it here and get like two or three yards, but we're not worried about that. Can't really throw the crossing route because, again, we got a purple zone just sitting right here. And, you know, that's not going to be open. You try to throw that. We got this guy and this guy honestly collapsing on it here. And I'm kind of just free roaming the middle of the field. There's nothing for me to guard, honestly. And at that point, you know, it's going to result in a sack. Now, the thing I really love about this defense is you can... Really quickly, just switch up to man. You can blitz. You can play zone. You can do it all from this defense and disguise everything great. And you can even, like I said, blitz only rushing two, three defenders if you want. You can stop the run. You can really do it all. That's why, in my opinion, the nickel 3 through 5 odd is the best defense in the game right now. Like I said, the Giants playbook is the best defensive playbook in the game right now because not only does it have the 3 through 5 odd, but it has every other defense I enjoy running on this year's game. Remember, guys, check out our defensive game planning guide. It really has a lot of amazing defenses and concepts that will take your game to the next level. Guaranteed. Link is in the description and also pinned in the comments. Till next time, it's Duke. I'm out of here.